something <clears throat> that has just uh, you know cropped up in my spirit and uh, uh, I said let me use this opportunity to talk about it as I'm on my way to work <clears throat> and I want to say this uh, in this season and in this time people are going through many things not only men but also women and the worst part even kids for now are getting traumatized so much is going on many things are happening especially things that are no good remember at one time unga was 96 shillings right now unga is around 230 shillings <clears throat> i want you to know that uh, if somebody was being paid 500 shillings per day the same 500 shillings he used to buy unga with at maybe 90 shillings or 100. It is the same money <clears throat> that that person is buying unga right now at 150 shillings. So you can see the stress, you can see the pain, you can see the struggle, you can see the hassle <clears throat> that people are going through. Yes, uh, Minister Jackie. Good morning, how are you? Based on pressures, I can see you. Good morning. Uh, James Sijambo, I can see you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> so I want you to know that uh, people are going through things. People are going through challenges. Uh, husbands are no longer talking. Wives who are mefura. Kids are traumatized. Check on that person. Check on that neighbor check out on that child learn to check on your friend but all of a sudden has just gone silent and you might think <clears throat> that the person is doing well no learn to check on your friend learn to check on that neighbor and now people like say 
oh you know me i just want to live my life i just want to i, I just want to be in peace uh, i don't want many issues i don't want to poke my nose into people's business i am not talking about gossip i'm not talking about poking your nose into people's business but i am saying learn to check on that person learn to check on that friend learn to knock on that neighbor's door that you see uh the curtain has not been opened for three days for four days and maybe you think the person has traveled no the person has not traveled the person is inside that house and the person is going through very many things that she cannot explain that she has got nobody to share it with people are going through a lot of stress a lot of trauma a lot of issues check on that person take your phone call him take your phone call her Mulize, how are you doing today i was just calling to check on you make some mandazi it may not be the best mandazi go and knock on that neighbor's door and just tell him or her you know i just made some little mandazi and i felt like sharing it with you check on that neighbor check on that person Mulize unaendeleaje how are things you might even find the person is crying that you know i've been going through one two three and there is nobody to talk to because let me tell you whether you like it or not whether you have money or not whether you are strong or not whether you are well connected or not whether you are married or not whether you are having children or not whether your parents are alive or not people are facing issues so don't think because everything is going well with you that it will never get to be bad seasons change times change and the person that you are disregarding today tomorrow might be that they, it might be that shoulder that you might need to lean on i want to say this eh? uh, i've been making a few calls to part of my friends that are to jongea for long i know kenyans we have this uh, this uh, behavior that when you go through your phone book and you realize this person has not called me for the past two months this person has not called me for the past three months Pua! you disregard that person and you say ah let me delete this contact that person that has not called you for two months or for three months that is not the contact that you should delete that is the person that you should call and check on and ask the person my dear how are you how have you been it's been a while because you might get so shocked that this person is even battling cancer secretly this person is maybe battling ulcers secretly this person maybe uh the marriage is having issues and there's nobody to talk to because of stigma this person maybe the the child is dysfunctional this person may many issues so don't feel that uh maybe because you're not having any challenge maybe because everything is well in this season your marriage is working in this season your wife is responding well in this season your kids are supporting uh, are performing well in school so you don't see the need you're like me i'm okay god has given me peace uh, my things are going on well i don't have any challenge i don't have any issue i thank god i just want peace no i am saying check on that person today i want to charge you how many of your neighbors not because their children came to play in your house how many of your neighbors have you ever just intentionally gone and knocked on their door when you came from work before you enter your house and when they open you just tell them hi how are you i have not seen you for two days i've not seen you for three days i was just checking on you i just wanted to know as your neighbor i love you i'm concerned and our god is good and our god will bless you my friend you'll be so surprised the other day i just went uh, there's this my neighbor then i knocked at her door and she was going through many things and then she told me pastor margaret you know i know that maybe you are tired but uh i just felt like taking chapati today and you know i'm ashamed i'm a mother but i don't know how to make chapati it's not that me i know how to make chapati <laughs> you're giving you're giving Margaret chapati to make it's not like i know how to make it but i know it's not like the lady was really looking for chapati but i feel i felt very strongly in my spirit she was just looking for some time i was very tired my because it was past eight i told her 
Ring, let us cook chapati. And we went and we sat and we started making chapati. Do you know we sat together till around 11.30 p.m. in the night? Just making, not even many chapatis. Who told me I know how to make that, those, those uh, intercontinental ones. But let me tell you, in these three hours, we got to talk, we got to share, we got to say many things. And as the chapati was getting ready on this side, tea was also getting ready on this side. So at the end of the day, we ended up, we had already taken supper. We took supper and then we started again taking tea with chapati. But you see, it was time. It was bonding time. It was the least time. If I had not knocked on that door, only God knows what could have happened. And that's why you hear people, they slept. They woke up. They never say, this person is always okay. This person is always happy. This person is a good neighbor. This person does not have many people who come to visit her. But what happened? They realized three, four days. They have not seen the door open. They're hearing a change. What happened? The person hanged him or herself. And then the person has left the note. What was the issue? Maybe even a rent, a rest of 20,000 or 30,000. Is that enough for somebody to kill himself? Is that enough for somebody to take his life? No. But you know people do it. People do it. Why? Because there is nobody to talk to. I want to appeal to us today. Be that person that somebody can look up to and say, thank God for Sister Mary. Thank God for Pastor Ame. Thank God for Nyakwarodera. Because I know this person, there is a time I was going through one, two, three, and this person showed up. She did not give me money, but she held my hand. She did not give me this, but she told me, you know what? There is hope. Maybe you can just even give somebody just a scripture. Maybe you can just hold hands together and combine your faith. You know, hey, learn to be your sister's keeper. Check all that person. Maybe all that person needs is a hug. Go and hug that person. Hmm? Maybe all that person needs is just another extra voice that can come and reassure him or her that, hey, you know what? Things are going to be better. Things will work out. These two shall pass. So I need you to become that voice. I need you to become that person. I need you to step out. This thing that uh, is in Nairobi. Nobody cares for anybody. Nobody. Is, I don't know who bewitched us in Nairobi. That uh, you live in your house. You keep on saying, this is my house. This is my veranda. Even if you find your neighbor, Ameanika Mangu Azang, these clothes. On your hanging line it can bring up three hours argument why did you hang your clothes on my line some, some may god help us hmm? because there is no neighborhood hmm? you know i love it in the village where by one child is everybody's child when that child messes up any adult with that will meet that child will flog him or her hmm? to character do you know why because it is a partnership thing this thing my god my church, my members, my job, my husband, my kid, my grace, my anointing. Even the other say, hey, you are you. I can be your, your friend, but I'm not your grace mate. This thing of my, 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 it is always me. It is always about me. It's always about what I can do. It's always about what I did. It's always about what my husband did for me yesterday. What my wife did for me yesterday. How my children perform. It is always my, my, my has killed us. And it has killed the culture of Africa. I beg me, I'm an African woman. I'm a Kenyan woman. I love our culture. Let us check on that person. I remember at one time, there is a, a place I'd gone in uh, Kindube. And then, uh, I was there for around three, four days. And uh, there is, I can call her mama, but in recent she's an aunt, that she had come to the village. And then she called all the grandmothers she had cooked lunch for them to come and eat then when i asked why does she call all the grandmothers then i was told her i was told her every time she comes home the first three days it is always feasting in her house number one she calls all her mothers who are my grandmother the mother to that person the mother to that person the mother to that person she has come with plenty of food you know good food from nairobi the things that people in the village they don't have the privilege of accessing on a daily basis hmm? for them to eat and drink and everything and then gives everybody rapper shopping and some money the next day he will call all the grandfathers now to meet their grandfathers to her their fathers 
call all of them. That is day two. Make them eat, make them drink. She is born again. But then they are part of his grandfathers, of her grandfathers that take busa. She will even buy busa for them. Hmm? They will eat and then he will give, she will give them some money and some stuffs. Hmm? Then the next day, she will call all the children. Now they ask. They ask uh, now they, they me. Uh, the cousins, all of my cousins, all of, call all of them to eat. Let me ask you, if you're in Nairobi and you hear something has happened to that person, will you not rush to the house and check on the, on the person? You will! And look at us! When you even buy a car, hey, well, I don't want to go to the village with this car, you know they will bewitch me. Who bewitched us? Who brought this wrong culture? Huh? Till we put aside the scripture that says no weapon fashion against us shall prosper. Huh? We have taken the white culture so much until we are losing and we are slowly putting aside the strong values that we should uphold. Today I want to appeal to us. Let us go back. Let us go back. Let us go back to that place. Hmm? In fact, the neighbor that you should check on so much is that neighbor that you normally feel. This one does not like me. This one does not like talking to me. This one is like this. This one is like that. Hmm? Go and talk to that person. Hmm? Just say hi, how are you? Whether he responds or not, at least you have said hi. Uh, let me also give this example. Here at my place of work, where I normally go to work, there's this one security man. Everybody hates that man because his face alone, eh? You know, when you just want to enter like this with a car to go to the parking in the basement, the way the person will look at you, hmm? you'll even think the person has got an issue with your car. So, anytime people talk about that security person, hmm? They were talking very bad. This person is bad. He has got an attitude. He's, he's, I don't know, maybe he's jealous. We have cars. So I found myself in one way also entering into their talk. And even me, he was looking at me with bad eyes. So this person is no good. Then I said, eh. Then God told me. He just told me one day, but you know what, Pastor Margaret? I came to reconcile man back to God. Why don't you one day buy some lunch? give to that security officer hmm? then one day i just went and, and bought lunch they are two of them or three of them there i did not give the other two this one with front face is the one i gave i said sir oh yeah take this one and eat then i saw his face relax he did not smile his face just relaxed the next day i took 100 shillings i gave him then i saw he winked like this hmm. the next day i bought banana gave him then every time i pass oh Gassa, how are you Okasa, I respect you. Hey. So, so this person is always just okay. Today, as we are talking, hmm? it is not even, I did not do that even for two weeks. This person is my friend. This person, even after I park her, he can even go and wipe the car. Do you know? I came close. I came close. Got close to these people. These people are fighting battles. These people are going through challenges that they cannot share with anybody. And times when you see somebody has frowned, you think that that is, the, that is not the face of that person a bank. That is not the face. It's just that these people are going through things that they cannot discuss with anybody. And it has reached a point whereby in Africa today, or in Kenya, or in Nairobi, anybody you go and you take your matter or your issue you share with the person the person becomes like another broadcasting channel oh somebody has just shared with you something in confidence so that you can pray with him or her then you go you go and run to another person hey whoa, brother brother mike brother mike please i beg let us be praying for sister margaret huh? let us be praying for pastor margaret ha ah, shy that woman is going through many things so that is no prayer point that is gossip oh yeah stop it and that's why you find some people nowadays they don't even prefer sharing anything with anybody why because we are no longer that person we are no longer that home we are no longer that we, we, we are no longer that thing that somebody can come and look up and say oh thank you for standing with me in this season thank you for being with me in this season it is my prayer that hey we will check on that person you hear something has happened to him or her you hear he has lost a child you hear he has lost job you hear he has lost one opportunity like that or the other 
go and check on him. Not that when somebody loses an opportunity, you say, eh, hey, thank God. Huh? He was even traumatizing us. It was always that car, that car, that car. He thought that he will never get an accident. Thank God. He's now walking like us. Who bewitched us? Let that problem, let that character stop. Check on that person. Call him on her so that this issue of mental health can stop. The other day I was being told a child as little as nine years has hanged himself. Why would a child of nine years hang him or herself? Because everybody is going through some things that they cannot talk to. Hmm? Even pastors, let me talk to pastors today. Hey, pastors face issues. But you know, when they're seated there at the front and people are looking at them from the, from the congregation, they're like, this pastor is perfect, the marriage is okay, the finances are in place. So you find people are hiding so much. As a man of God, don't die because of congregation. Share! Take good care of yourself. If you are full to the brim, look to, for somebody. Share! Open up. What am I saying in a nutshell? Check on that person. Check on that friend. Check on that neighbor. Check on that colleague whom, according to you, you have been seeing. This colleague has been putting on this one shoe for the past two months, for the past three months. She has, he, has, he or she has been putting on that one coat. Things are not well. At times, what people need is not that long prayer. Take that 500 shillings that you have. I know it is small. I know you have issues. But let me tell you, that 500 shillings of yours can quench and save a life of an entire family that is starving. An entire family that is at the verge of breaking because the man can no longer eat up because of how the economy of Kenya is right now. But I came to assure us that no matter what happens, the Bible makes me to understand that they that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Even if the economy of Kenya reaches to a point where it is one million, we know and we are rest assured that our God is well able to keep us, that our God is well able to sustain us, that our God is well able to provide unto us that our God is well able to usher us in this season and make us cross over to the other season you know what in the book of Ruth Bethlehem was the land of bread at one point Bethlehem was going through famine till Ruth and the husband I mean sorry till Naomi and the husband and the children they left but do you know there are people who remained in Bethlehem and they went through the famine and at, in one season it was famine but in the other season it was not famine the season had changed the season had changed let me tell you when you check on that person when you choose to become that burden bearer when you choose to become that shoulder that that person can lean on tomorrow seasons will change tomorrow seasons will change not so that the person can come back and bless you no you don't bless so that the person when he is blessed can come back and bless you you bless because it is a command it is an instruction from God when the season changes when the tide changes when there will be a shift in the realm of the spirit and in the atmosphere you will say thank God I was a part of the success story of this young lady one thing I love with my uncles, I lost my biological parents, I think now 23 years ago. And one thing I loved with <clears throat> my maternal uncles, the way they worked with us, the way they ensured that we went through school. They told me, mm, we are not trying to help you so that tomorrow you can come back and help us. No, we are helping you because this was our sister and we loved her. So that tomorrow you can also be in a position to stand. And when you see another person who is in the same shoe that you are in or that you were in, you will extend the same kindness. So today, what am I saying? Be your brother's keeper. Stop being selfish. Everything. Let me make this statement here. Everything that God has blessed you with. Everything that God has given you is not for you. Mm. I know you're wondering. Everything that God has given you, everything that God has blessed you with is not for you. It is for the rest. It is for the others. When God has given you a voice to sing, do you think you are singing for you? No. You're not singing for you. You are singing to become a blessing. When the Lord has put a man of God 
you know where you are submitting under don't go and start fighting that man of god don't go and start behaving as though now you are the general overseer the man of god has seen a calling has seen a gift in your life and he is giving you an opportunity to to build up that thing that the lord has placed in the inside of you and then you preach you minister people fall under the anointing and then you start feeling like now like you are now you have now become the general overseer that you cannot even preach more than him you cannot fast more than him hello God never spoke to Joshua till Moses died. There is a Moses in that commission. But even at that, go and check on your man of God. At times it can just be a banana. Bite and take to him. Because you don't know the Lord. You don't know the burdens that these general overseers carry. You don't know the kind of challenges that they just have to go through just to ensure that you, every time you come to church, you find light, you find the church is clean, you know there's a security man there, you know there are instrumentalists, you know there are workers, just to ensure. At times, none of them don't even buy shoes, don't even buy clothes. Others are even on air, they are on TV, they have TV stations, they have radio stations, they have to pay for them on a daily basis to a tune of 30,000 per day, 40,000 per day, 50,000 per day, you know. And why are they doing this? Not so that, not, not so that they can become popular, but there is something that God has placed in the inside of them and they want to create an, an, an opportunity or they want to create an atmosphere whereby that which God has placed in the inside of them can reach as many people as possible, as, uh, as many people as possible so that people's lives can be changed and so that more people can come to God. So even that man of God, come and go and become a partner partner with him in that commission partner with him in that ministry go and tell him ogasa i am the one who is going to pay your child's fee this month this time ogasa uh, this is a new shirt ogasa i know it is not much but i have my 500 shillings i know it cannot do much i know the bill in this church is close to 200,000 per month 300,000 per month but sir i have my 500 shillings put it in his hand check on him I know of a man of God that fell ill. This is a true life story. He fell ill, a pastor. He was a general overseer of his commission. And when he fell ill, he was so sick. And uh, the bills in the hospital became so high. And he could not meet up. And now they tried to do fundraising in the church. And uh, some of his leaders... Actually, 90% of his leaders, people whom he calls leaders, that this is my associate pastor, this is my women pastor, this is the youth pastor, this is the intercessory pastor, this is the choir pastor. You know how we normally know how to departmentalize them, thinking that we are growing them. 90% of them came and sat and said, hey. and now this pastor, he just wants to drain our pockets because of his, his condition. Why doesn't he pray to his God so that he can heal him? This is fundraising is too much. And they went and they started, you know, sowing this seed in the life of members. You know, things are hard now. We have issues. We have challenges. We have A. We have B. We have C. Why should pastor be mounting his, his, his financial bills on us? Eh? Don't you also have issues? Don't, you know, yes, we have wife. We have child. We have A. We have B. We have C. So the 10% of his leadership, one of them went and told him, sir, I'm not coming here to gossip or to tell you one, two, three. But I'm just coming here to tell you this is what has been going on. This is what people are saying. But I need you to be strong. I don't have much, but this is what I've been able to gather. And he gave it to the pastor. The pastor who was very huge, like, uh, you know, let me say, TDJX in terms of body size, you know, physically, came and became so thin up to my body size. You know me, I'm a small person. Eh? Came, became so small and he requested to be discharged in the hospital. So the, I'm sharing this, this is a life story. So the person whom he went to share with, hmm, he told him, I have to go back to church because the church will die. I don't want this work to die. I have levered so much. But I am in so much pain and I am in bad shape because the people whom I trusted, the people whom I thought that now that I am sick, now that this condition has found me, the people whom I thought will come and stand with me are the people who have been saying this. So I am not yet well. I am not yet okay. But for the sake of the church, he has left everything. But for the sake of the church, there was nobody to go and check on this man of God.
everybody was saying oh my money the pastor is eating my money the pastor's medical bill is it a must me i just want to go to church to get blessed and leave i don't have many issues if you don't have many issues go and die now is when we die you go to paradise or you go to hell that there will be no issues but here on earth there will always be issues hmm? me i just want to go to church pay my offering of 50 shillings get blessed and go home oh we, it was so bad the way this man of god cried at the end of the day he went back to church he died on the altar he preached with the microphone he was feeling bad he was preaching when he's praying tears you'll see tears coming out of his eyes you will think that he's crying that god is coming down he was crying out of pain and everybody will be praying speaking in tongues full of the holy ghost they, do you think they were receiving a blessing from him okay maybe somebody is uh, trying to judge me he's saying oh so pastor market are you trying to say that it is my responsibility to pay my pastor's bill that is not where i'm driving at i am driving at this point that i started from be your brother's keeper it is okay for us to be broke when your neighbor if your 500 shillings can save the life of that neighbor if your 500 shillings can save that marriage dash it out god will sustain you this person preached one day the pain was intense 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 because he came back and he pretended that everything is okay so that he does not lose the church that he has labored for so much and when he was seeing and when he was looking at things he did not see the person whom he can hand over the ministry to at that time because the people whom he had groomed and he thought that when he's gone are the people who are going to come and take over from him are the same people who are going around and 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 spreading malice about him he dropped preaching on the altar yet people had millions in their account yet when he says receive you're saying i receive by fire what are you receiving hmm? what are you receiving and when he died even when those ones came and tried to take it up they could not because god's glory had departed from the place because the people who were in position to help him the people who were in position to stand with him left check on that brother check on that sister check on that friend check on that man of god i know as men of god as pastors i don't even know what is our problem it is another pastor that you will find gossiping another pastor it is another gospel minister that you'll find gossiping another gospel minister it is another woman that knows that this woman is married to brother john that will be going and you know that woman is your friend oh and you'll be going to tell her husband lies so that you can go and snatch the husband i don't know who bewitch us may the fire of god burn you shy hmm? holy ghost fire your pastor is going through challenges instead of you seeing that other pastor friend as a co-laborer the bible says we are co-laborers with christ jesus it is always my church my members my leaders my pastors that pastor is is going through things that he cannot even explain to anybody hmm? that pastor is going through Shay! but look at us hmm? it is that pastor who will be fighting the other pastor who whose church is growing instead of you joining hands when his church grows and yours grows it is not you that takes the glory it is god that takes the glory it is our sole responsibility through the help of the holy spirit to decongest hell and populate heaven so if you see that your pastor friend church is growing your issue or your main concern should not be going there and be fighting him hey you know he's using juju power okay if he's using juju power you who have stopped to go and use the juju power sha huh? You go, you be spoiling somebody's name for no good reason, for no just reason, because of being personal. Hmm? May God help us. When your pastor friend who has a church, even if he's your neighbor, is growing, it should give you joy because he is helping you take more people to heaven. Go and ask him, Ogasa, what is it that you are doing that me I'm not doing? Give me, share the strategy with me so that we can collect and form a very strong network, a very strong fellowship that will advance the kingdom. 
but you don't even want to come and invite him to preach in your church. Why? Because you think after he has preached, he will carry all your, your so-called members to his church. Who even told you you have your own members? <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if today I'm just teaching us hard stuff. But let me tell us the truth. The success of your life here on earth let me even not talk about ministry because the people who are watching some of them are born again some of them are not born again and not everybody who is also born again is into ministry hmm? but let me say this the success of everybody's life is not the husband you married is not your account balance is not the number of children you have is not the number of houses you built is not the types and the number of numerous big big organizations that you have worked for the success of anybody's life is the life that you have touched is the mark that you have left in that person it is the person you have impacted your impact on that person that is how successful you become so that the day you die because all of us will die. People don't like that someone. The day you will die, honest people will come and mourn you. They will come and cry purely in your burial ceremony, saying, because of this person I went to school. Because of this person my marriage did not break. Because of this person when I backslid, I was restored back to God. Because of this person, my children are aligned. Because of this person, I was addicted to actual alcohol. Now I'm no longer addicted. Because of this person, I can dress well. Because of this person, he gave me 200 shillings. He gave me 300 shillings. He enabled me to start a banana business. Look now, I have got my own shop. Life is about impact. The success of your life is about the number of lives you touch. Look at what John 15 tells us. I am the vine and here are the branches. Hmm? Abide in me so that I can abide in you. Because if you abide in me, you will be able to bear much fruit. Because you cannot do anything outside me. And whosoever tree that bears fruit, what is bearing fruit? Impact is bearing fruit. The Bible says, whosoever tree that bears fruit, that one I will patch, that one I will prune, that one I will dress. That one. So are you bearing fruit? It did not say build houses. I'm not saying building houses, but I even desire to have one of my own. I'm still in a rental property. You understand? But that is not what makes you successful. And he says, whosoever bears fruit and the fruit abides, abides in the vine, that one will ask anything from me and I will give it. So the impact that you make that is permanent in people's lives, that is what will make God honor you anytime you go to pray. That is what will make God surround you with fire. And why was he saying, bear fruit so that your fruit may abide? What does it mean to abide so that your fruit may abide? Checking on that person. Being that shoulder that that person can always lean on. Today, check on those people. Check on your parents. I even know people who work here in Nairobi. Others work in Mombasa. Others are abroad. You can spend three hours on phone talking to a boyfriend, talking to a girlfriend, talking to your pastor, but you can never spend 10 minutes talking to your mother or talking to your father. Wickedness! And then in church, you are the one who is speaking in tongues. ri ba 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 ri ba 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 ri ba 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 You have taken all the ri, all the ba, all the ri, all the ba, ri ba, ri ba, and your mother or your father. Hmm? You don't even talk to them on phone. On a daily basis, just to check on them. So where are we headed? May, may God help us. May God help us. Some of us, we are bitter. Because the people whom we went and we entrusted our lives with or we entrusted some very vital information to, they betrayed us. But hey, the Bible says Jesus is the mender of all broken souls. May the Holy Spirit heal our hearts in the name of Jesus. So today, check on that person and be a person of impact be your brother's keeper check on that person even me the other day one friend called me and checked on me do you know that friend was the only person who made me laugh that day because i was going through a face that i cannot explain but i thank god that the person checked on me and I, 
I ended up laughing and celebrating. May God help us. May this sheer wickedness end. May this sheer wickedness stop. Because how can you be throwing food yet your neighbor does not have? Mimi stakangi maneno ya jirani. Mimi ngoja stakangi maneno ya jirani. Taka hiyo maneno ya jirani. Kama utaki maneno ya jirani, the only place where people live alone peacefully is grave. Everybody by his grave inafunikwa mpaka inaekwa cement juu. It is even cemented on top. Hmm? Jabera, I'm checking on you shortly. <laughs> Lindo, Lindo. Oh my goodness, I'm checking on you shortly. And remember, I'm inviting you for our women convention in November, December there. I'm checking on you shortly. So let us check on each other. Let us be our brother's keeper. Check on your pastor. This is the last one I want to end up with. Check on your pastor's wives. Well, not just using our baby's a pastor, eh? Nye, 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 nye. Muna kuja tu kila kitu ni pasta, pasta, pasta. Sisi muna kwaza mmetuwa changa tu pale kando. Hmm? Lakino like, jasa imi imi si jaoleka. But wakati nilikuwa ni mooleka in my former marriage, I was a pastor's wife. Hmm? Then everything, you know, pasta, pasta, pasta. I love sisa sisi muna tuwa changa tu hapo kando. No. Also check on your pastor's wife. Hmm? On our mama assembly. These people, they are the ones who make that pastor who kila so kenda kwa kwa piga makuti to stand there and become strong. They pastor you and you and us, the wives, we pastor them. Check on them. So just for a minute, I just want us to pray together and the Lord will help us. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We give all the praise, honor, and adoration. Thank you because of each and every one of us who has tuned in online. Thank you for because of that mother. Thank you because of that dad. Thank you because of that man of God, that woman of God, that gospel minister in terms of music, that person who has just, you know, bumped into this live broadcast. I thank you because of each and every one of them. Thank you because you are touching their lives. Thank you because you are blessing them. Anybody that has got bitterness, anybody that has got heaviness, I pray that may the Holy Spirit intervene and change them and turn them and lift every load that they are hiding in their hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that may you impart each and every one of us with love, with calmness, with peace in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that may you give us that urge to check on our brothers, to check on our sisters, and to be our brother's keeper in the mighty name of Jesus. Anybody that is harboring bitterness and unforgiveness, I pray for, for them so that they may release it from their hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. In this month of August, I release your blessings upon them. I release favor upon them. I release your goodness, your kindness, and your mercies upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. This being a month of divine visitation, I decree and declare each and every soul that is open to you, you are going to grant them a divine visitation in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father, and thank you, my King, for it is in Jesus' mighty name, we do pray and give thanks. Amen. Till we meet again, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord do you good. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord grant you that which you are looking for. That which you are looking for. May the Lord grant you. And above all things, may the Lord give you a heart to check on that neighbor, on that brother, on that sister, on that man of God, on that child in the village on that widow on that on that on that uh, orphanage that is by by the roadside on that mama mboga on that neighbor whom you have realized that the child for the past one month has not been going to school on that marriage that you always hear the wife and the husband uh, making noises at night check on them and when you do that the lord will richly bless you from my desk from me pastor margaret to you is to say i just love you so much the lord continue blessing you the lord continue keeping you and let the way my signature always goes be you remain you don't try to emulate anybody be who god created you to be shalom god bless you i love you so much till i come along your way again you know i am i, I normally wake up very early in the morning till i come along your way again is i love you mm, charles and god 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 richly bless you amen and amen and amen